Hello, uh, welcome to the Compassionate Kitchen. The Compassionate Kitchen is a mission uh, started about a year and a half ago out of the Fanwood Presbyterian Church. Uh, we call it Soups for Salvation. And essentially what we do is we had a cooking group together of about 20 people or so, and we got together once a month and we'd make about 150 to 200 meals um, at our sessions, and then we would actually distribute them to local charities. I think since the conception of this about a year and a half ago, we probably have made close to 2,000 meals for those in need. Uh, today, because of COVID, obviously things have changed. We now um, are sort of a virtual cooking team. We have cooks who cook at home and then we get together, we package them up, and then we distribute them to local charities. And, and the sole purpose of this is really, you know, trying to make wholesome foods for those who are in need, right, with really fresh ingredients. Um, rather than, you know, canned soups with high sodiums. So today I'm going to show you, we're going to make a delicious soup. We're going to make an eggplant white bean soup. Um, again, with really fresh ingredients, some just right outside from my garden. And uh, in a few minutes, we're going to put this together. I'll show you how to make it. Okay, so we are at the Fanwood Presbyterian Church Kitchen. This is normally where we would cook our meals for our soups. Um, on a normal t times, this kitchen would be full of volunteers, you know, where we're making our soups, and packaging them up, but obviously we're in different times now. So I thought that I'd bring you here though and show you actually, you know, what we produce um, and what we distribute. So, um, so, um, let me just show you some of our soups here that we actually have made in the past uh, couple of weeks. So we got a really good selection here. So we got our turkey noodle soup. We have a vegetarian lentil and chili soup in here. We've got split pea soup. Um, we've got, um, oh, this is a good one. We made a cabbage and white bean soup. So. Um, I've got just a wonderful group of volunteers that either help me every week in preparing these soups. Um, we have another freezer down here with our turkeys and hams. So um, I want to give really a special shout out to uh, my friends at the First Presbyterian Church in Cranford. They come every week and they get these soups and they run a, they run a soup kitchen in Elizabeth. So every week on Sundays, they prepare meals for those in need. And um, prior to the pandemic, they had, they had a dining room where they would cook hot meals for the folks. But obviously now that, that kitchen isn't open anymore. They can't, have, they can't have people in the dining room. So what they've been doing is they've been bagging sandwiches with fruits and distributing them outside to folks. And what we've been doing is taking our soups and supplementing the sandwiches that they um, distribute. So really, they're a wonderful group of people. Special thanks for them because they really help us get these soups out to the people who need them. So last point I wanted to say is, you know, our, our freezer there, we have our turkeys and hams. Uh, we've collected them in the holidays. We're gonna do that again, you know, come Thanksgiving and come Christmas. And, you know, if you're nearby, um, we're gonna have a drive right to collect more turkeys and hams. One turkey can make 75 meals, 75 soup meals. One ham can make 50 meals. So. When you contribute, you know you're feeding a lot of people. So I thought you'd appreciate seeing this.